Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Derek Ruby Show. I am your host, the previously mentioned Mr. Ruby, and as we continue our Halloween month here on the Derek Ruby Show, instead of our standard review, I thought we would take a few minutes to talk about Friday the 13th, the game. So if you haven't seen the trailer, it's out there. It really looks great. This is not just regular cutscene footage, folks. This is actual gameplay. I mean, look at all the kills here. I mean, Jason's putting people in fireplaces, stabbing people in the head with the machete, cutting people's arms off. It looks pretty amazing. So apparently this is going to be a multiplayer game. You'll play with counselors and one person will play with Jason. There'll be a lot of hiding aspects and trying to survive. Or just trying to kill and disembowel everybody that gets in your way when you're Jason. However, they haven't really explained how that's going to work. They said you could have private matches. I don't know if that means that the person that sets up the room is Jason. Or if it's just going to be randomized each round. I'm not very sure about that. Because let's be honest, most people are going to want to play with Jason. Now, I wanted to take a minute to talk about something that a lot of people aren't saying, and that is you really need to support this game. The horror genre, or more specifically, the slasher genre, is sorely lacking in video games. You have Resident Evil, you got Outlast, yeah, you got the games like that. But those are usually survival or shoot a bunch of zombies or do something along those lines. For some reason, the game industry thinks it's okay for you to blow people away in Grand Theft Auto, but being a slasher, that's out of the question. And there was a lot of love and a lot of thought put into this game. I mean, they got Tom Savini, the person that basically orchestrated all the kills in Friday the 13th. And Friday the 13th has to be my favorite slasher franchise. If you want to see what I thought about the original Friday the 13th, check out episode 13. Shameless plug for myself. Thank you very much. But every other genre seems to take advantage of video games. The superhero genre, the anime genre, the TV genre, big blockbuster movies like Star Wars. They all make money off video games. And the slasher games just never seem to get their fair share. So I encourage all of you to support this game. If you're not going to pre-order the game like I have, that's okay. If you want to wait till the game comes out and see how good it is, I understand that. But if the game looks fun and your friends are talking about how great it is, then you need to go buy it. Because if this game makes money, then we could get more games like this. Because movie studios aren't stupid, folks. If this game does well, Gun Media could become like the next Telltale. We could have A Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, Child's Play... Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Hellraiser, all kinds of games that could come out. And if they keep Tom Savini around, I'm pretty sure if he watches some of those movies, he could probably design kills for every one of those games and it would be great. Now this was a fan-funded project. A lot of people donated to make this game happen. And it just shows you what the power of the people can do whenever they put their mind to it. You're not going to find a game with so much love and passion put into it as this one. It really speaks a lot to the people at Gun Media They tweeted somebody's video the other day that was basically saying they were part of the Illuminati. So I'm just encouraging all of you, if you want more games like this, then support this game. Spend your money. Let's make Friday the 13th the big hit of 2016. So thank you guys for listening to the Derek Ruby Show. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button under my video. That way you can visit me here each and every week for movie reviews, game reviews, and all kinds of stuff. And then Friday the 13th, when it comes out, I will probably review it. So there will be a video on that in the future. You can find follow me on Facebook at the Derek Ruby Show. You can follow me on Twitter at Derek Ruby Show. You can follow me on Instagram at the Derek Ruby Show. I invite every one of you next week to come back and continue our Halloween month. It's my favorite time of the year, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>